Hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com and what I want to do in today's lesson is show you how to clean up some blemishes or even some pieces of lint that are on a face. In this case, I'm going to show you a, a newborn baby and uh, all of these things will apply to whether you're working with a senior or an adult or a toddler. It doesn't really matter. It's skin. All right. So um, I just kind of wanted to go over a few of the tools and uh, there's one thing right off the bat that I want to share with you and a lot of people don't realize um, this tool even exists and how to use it. And the one I'm talking about is the patch tool. All right. And it's really, really cool for especially doing blemishes that are like this or this or something, even an object that you wanted to remove and it was all on its own um, like this. It would not work as well with this area because you have all different shades going on, but with something like this, and let me just give you an example here. All I do is I just hold down my mouse and I just go around that particular blemish and then I just click on it, drag it to a good piece of skin and then let go and then look what happened there it is it's gone all right so if I go back let me just go back for you look at that was the blemish and then I just drag it to a good piece of skin let go and then look what happened see so that's pretty cool all on its own again real quick I can do it here drag it to a good piece of skin let go bang done all right now for these little fine areas if I was to do that here let's see what happens go here and then let me drag it to here see let me just get off of that see how it kind of put a little bit of you know a different skin color in between the fingers so that doesn't work that well with something like that so let me go back here and get rid of that so what I would do for little ones like that, little little things, is I would go into, I would either use the healing brush, which again, sometimes is hard because it, it does pick up other colors. Let me just go ahead and try it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to option or alt click and I'm just going to run over it and see how it picked up some of that down there, some of the darker. I don't want that. So I'm just going to go now over here. You can go um, your spot healing and this here where you, you don't even really select anything, it just kind of guesses by what you click on. See, so if I just click on that, if I go in here, didn't do a bad job. So these are the tools you can play around with. Um, if that didn't work, I could always go to my clone tool. I always kind of fall back on my clone tool because that usually works um, when everything else fails. All right, so let's just try that here again on the spot healing. Just gonna kind of go here. See how that did that? It's not really good because it's picking up colors over here. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna use the uh, just to show you the clone tool and how I use that, I'm just going to option click and then I'm just going to lightly go in here and touch it. All right. And I can go ahead now and click on this and then I can just bring it up to fill in there. So that's, you know, good enough. And again, we're getting kind of picky here. Here is another area. Okay. We've got a little piece of lint or a piece of the uh, blanket on the face. Again, you can go over here and we can use the healing brush and then option click and then just run away with it. Did a pretty good job and just keep working until it doesn't do a good job. Like right there, then you gotta back off. And uh, in this case, let's see what happens if I do that. See, it doesn't do as good a job when you're getting into those really fine areas. So that's when I would go to the clone tool, I would click on a spot here, and I would just continue to come over and work that in. And that looks pretty good. And same thing here, um, you know, just quickly, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag the clone tool uh, if you got, if you want to go on a, a seam of some type like this here, I like to click on it, and then you can kind of see it shows you a visual of what it's going to look like before you click, and then click on it, and then look what happened. All right, same thing down here. You know, you can just continue to to fill this in. Just with the clone tool, it's going to pick up whatever color you selected near it. All right. Uh, so that's basically it. I really just wanted to show you how to clean up skin. Uh, here's another one here. Let's zoom in on that real quick and we'll end with this one here. Looks like we've got a piece of the blanket or something here as well. So again, if I went ahead and used the clone tool, I just option click or alt click and then I just lightly go in here and if I want to go on this little uh, crease, click on that and then I bring it down and you can see I filled that right in perfectly. And while we're here, we'll do this little spot here. You know, I mean you can keep going. but 
just wanted to kind of show you uh, how to do it and how to clean up images, especially using all of these tools, all of these neat tools that they give us in Photoshop. So I hope this has helped you. If you have any other questions, you can always leave comments below this video. If you want more videos like this, you can subscribe to our New Portrait Biz subscriber list at newportraitbiz.com or you can just subscribe to this channel, this YouTube channel, if you're watching this on YouTube. Obviously, if you're watching it on our blog, you're probably already a subscriber. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. I'll talk to you soon.